Mathematical proficiency involves understanding the meaning of numbers and how they relate to each other in problem situations. Being able to extract numbers or decontextualize them from a problem and perform computations is an important skill. However, it's only half of what students need to do. They also must be able to relate those numbers back to the problem or contextualize them so that they can verify their work, identify appropriate units of measure, and check their answers within the context of the original problem for reasonableness. Math coach and author Robin Silby discusses the second standard for mathematical practice, reason abstractly and quantitatively. Let's watch as this grade one teacher guides the students to act out the problem in order to contextualize it. We're gonna read through the story problems and I'm gonna have some friends come up and help to start off. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, ready to go? We're gonna look at the top. It says, act it out, number one. Put your finger there on number one so I know that you're with me. Lou picked seven apples. Jordan picked one more apple than Lou. How many apples did Jordan pick? So I read our story problem. Now we need to figure out what do we know and decide, make a plan and decide, should I add or should I subtract? So I'm going to have a friend come up to the Elmo and help us. Jalen, come on up. Lou picked seven apples. Jordan picked one more apple. How many apples did Jordan pick? Do you think we should add or subtract? Add. How do you know? Can you take a look here? Can you circle for me to tell me what I should, how, why I should add? One more apple, that tells me I should add. So I know that I started with seven and I have one more. So now what we're gonna do is act it out. I need seven apples. So I need seven of you. Let's see, how about if I do Jair, Ryan, come right up front, Malachi, Anthony, Amelia, Turn right around here. Seven apples. How many do I have? I have five. I need how many more? How many more, Jalen? Two. Two more. Elijah and Brian. So here's Lou. Here's his seven apples that he picked. Jordan has one more. Jalen told me I need to add. So what do I need to do? Zola? You need to add one more. I need one more. Zola, come on up. So if I have seven apples and one more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one more makes eight. Haley? Eight. Eight. Seven plus one equals eight. Thumbs up. Do we agree? All right, good job, thank you, have a seat. Number one, let's write a number sentence. So our number sentence for number one is going to say seven plus one equals eight. 